Hello, hello. I have arrived. All right. So, tonight, Tales of Arise. Ah, also tonight, I forgot my greeting again. Yes, hello, hello. I have arrived. Uh, oh. I tried to recite it off of memory, but considering that I just forgot to use it at all, probably I wasn't uh, bound for success in trying to recall the entire thing from memory. So, future man, researcher, artist, and VTuber here. You can call me Tiberius Vanderbilt. So yes, at least I'm remembering that I'm forgetting it. We'll work on the actually remembering it part later, I suppose, but remembering that I'm forgetting it is a good first step. So yeah, like I said, tonight, Tales of Arise. So yeah, I think this is probably the first time that I've done three streams in a week in a good number of weeks. I'm hoping to make that four next week, but we'll see, I suppose. Let's see, any other business to get out of the way? Nothing super pertinent to tonight's stream, I don't think. But uh, let's see, next week, next week, like I've been saying, been saying for quite a while now, on Tuesday, we will be starting Arc Nights, ideally. Then Wednesday and Friday, we will be playing some more Tales of Arise. And on Thursday, we will be continuing BA11 Hall A Cyberpunk Bartender Action with our good friend Sheppy Sheps, the ongoing collab. Yes. And all of those streams will be taking place at approximately 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, I'm a little bit late tonight. A little bit late tonight. I was, uh, I was all geared up and ready to get started at the usual time, but then I kind of, uh, forgot. <laughs> it just kind of slipped my mind. I got distracted. You know, I didn't forget that I was going to stream, but I forgot to check the time. So yeah, a little bit tired tonight. We might make it a little bit of a short one, but I'm going to do my best to make this a full-length stream. But... You know, we will see what happens. Don't want to push myself too much because I did, uh, I did stay up a little bit late, later than I would like to last night, which is a recurring theme, and it's a big issue that I've run into a lot, and I don't really want to play into it too much. So probably it's best to prioritize getting proper rest. But yes. So other than that. Yeah, I already talked about the schedule for next week. I already talked about uh, what we're doing tonight. I suppose we might as well get on with things then. But yes. There we go. Oh, game's not here. Game? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay, there we are. And do we have game audio? Yes, it looks like we do. Cool. So yes, last time we were here in the training grounds. We were attempting the various uh, various courses that are available here, and we're gonna keep on doing that. Yeah, I don't. It occurs to me that I've not seen the, not attempted the group battles before. Interesting. Completion rewards. Okay, so presumably that's something you get every time you complete it. Hence the no rematches for 60 minutes. Hmm. <coughs> so yeah, come to think of it. Yeah. First clear bonus, target clear bonus. So yeah, so clear bonus presumably just means anytime you clear it as opposed to, you know, first clear bonus being specifically for the first clear. <laughs> That's what words mean. But yes. So we might try out a group battle later, once we get a little bit further along here. But uh, let's see, who still needs to get courses done that are within our means? Yeah, Alfin still needs to, still needs to complete the novice course at all. I feel, if I remember correctly, Last time, 
on Wednesday. I was, I almost said last week because I'm used to not streaming every or not streaming this game multiple times a week. But no, I actually managed that. Yeah. Last time, last time, I think our biggest problem with Alfin is basically that we just kept running out of HP. We just kept uh, using abilities that cost HP on Alfin because that's kind of his gimmick. Yeah, kept using abilities that cost HP on Alfin, and without any way to restore that HP, I died. <laughs> died quite, uh, quite painfully. Yeah, so far... Ah, also Law. Law has also not seen a, su a successful attempt, for whatever reason. Yeah, Kisara has seen a partial, partial success. Only off by 20 seconds. That seems doable. Bill Helene... Only we haven't even had a successful attempt on the training. Hmm. I feel like he's probably not going to have his boost attack ready when we get into this, so we probably won't succeed on this first attempt. But, we might as well attempt the first attempt. Alright. Oh, we do have it. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, I feel like I don't have a... Part of the issue is that I don't, I feel like I don't have a lot of, uh, good arts on Dohalim. A lot of them are very, a lot of the arts, and just his basic attacks, are very sort of long-ranged. But his, uh, you know, his basic attack starts off short range, so it's kind of hard for me to play around that. I guess I don't necessarily need to combo. Or I don't necessarily need to start the combo with the first attack. Hmm. So yeah. It also seems that... Uh, I can't really... I don't have a whole lot of ability to... Easily juggle enemies. Or easily juggle enemies with his basic attacks. Granted, I probably should be... Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I should definitely be using his, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, going into his powered up state. Hmm. Okay, okay. So yeah, definitely shouldn't have done that. Definitely shouldn't have done that. Because now I've just got to deal with this guy for a little while. Also, I probably should have put the increased damage on Dopaline, shouldn't I have? But yeah, so, you know, this boosted attack state that you get from doing perfect dodges is Dohalim. I guess, you know, while I'm enraged, apparently, <laughs> while I'm just sort of here waiting for my boost attack to come back, I might as well take the opportunity to practice, practice perfect dodging. Hmm. Unfortunately, we're coming across the issue. Oh, that was not a successful break. Oh, that's very unfortunate. But yeah, so the issue is that I keep, like, not, uh... Yeah, the issue is that I keep just not dodging the attack, but just not being where the attack is. There we go. So I sort of need to act against my sort of better instincts and dodge into the attack, if I want to activate this. The iframes on the dodge are pretty generous, so I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Not really that big of a deal. Hmm. Yeah, so there I was too close, and so when I attempted to dodge, I dodged just through the... Not even through the attack. If I, you know, passed through the attack, then there would have been no issue. The issue was that I dodged through the opponent entirely. Yeah, once an enemy is in the air, Tornado Drive seems like a pretty good, uh, pretty good tool to use. Unfortunately, the issue is getting them into the air and keeping them in the air. A rotating pile driver is actually a pretty good way to do that. I remember I've always been pretty fond of rotating pile driver. Hmm. Yeah, so this is... What is this creature? 
is this creature I want there? There. Does it show me? Yes, it's a rider claw. And there's an icon there. I can't quite tell what that icon is supposed to represent. It's a little bit too small to derive any meaningful information from it. But yeah, I would assume that has probably, if I had to guess, probably has something to do with the... Hmm. Something to do with the, the fact that its uh, dodge has been disabled. Alright, so I've gotten hit there. So I was a little bit early on that dodge. Not that I was tr really trying that hard to activate the powered up state, but again, bad positioning. Being at a little bit of a distance does help in positioning Dovalu. So maybe I. Maybe the issue isn't so much that his range is awkward. Maybe the issue is just that I'm playing him wrong, basically. Yeah, the issue is just that I'm playing him like he's a melee character, just because he sometimes hits people with his uh, staff while it's still in his hands. Which is not quite... not quite necessarily what he is. But yes, one way or another, though. Whoops. One of these days we'll figure out how to navigate the menu. But yes. So, put on the warrior emblem. Elfin is using that, of course. But not anymore. So yeah, I do... I do wonder... Actually, you know what? Since we were actually, you know, low on resources earlier, or we were, we were low on gall at the end of last stream, I might just go and do this. Get a little bit more gall. I'm sure I have other stuff that I can sell. That's it. But yes. Get some more resources here. Sell them. Get some gold. Get some better uh, accessories. Because that's another thing I was lacking. Yeah. Ideally, I'd really like to try and get a sort of improved version of the warrior emblem. Something that maybe would give us a bit more damage. Or at least some other emblem. Not necessarily emblem, but accessory. That gives increased damage. Ah, this is new dialogue. I should have read that, huh? Alright, so now... Hmm. It occurs to me that this is a uh, group battle. This is a group battle, so probably... Probably I should have... Uh, hmm. Should have... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Thought maybe a little bit about the... Our team composition. It maybe doesn't matter that much, but... Yeah, I was seeing uh, Rinwell using some new arts that I haven't seen her use before. Oops. A little bit of damage on everybody. Oops. I should probably try and target the thing that I'm targeting, in theory. Ah, the Boomy. The Boomy got me. Nice, nice. So yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna, I was gonna say that the uh, the fight's progressing very well, but it's nowhere near done yet, apparently. All right. Speaking of its charge, what's charging? I think that enemy just finished its charge. That one probably is about to start. It should. But yeah, I'm feeling good about this attack. Granted, you know, we get our results, whether, like, you know, whatever happens, just as long as we survive, basically. I should heal people. Maybe I didn't necessarily need to stop, uh... I don't know, I guess the, the, the thing went through anyway. I was gonna say, maybe I didn't necessarily need to stop people they're fighting. But, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Alfin is a little bit dead, but only a little bit. Yeah, that is not new dialogue, I don't think. Mm, yeah, first victory. 
Hmm. Okay. So I guess it gives the first victory dialogue on our first victory, even though this reward presumably has nothing to do with our first victory. I just, yeah, don't need to walk. Don't need to walk. Just go to the map, fast travel, and skip all of the, all of the hassle. So yeah, I think everyone has, everyone should have, well, other than Alfin, I suppose, everyone should have some pretty good equipment, at least compared to what they used to have. They should have better equipment, if nothing else. Yeah, Alfin, I know I specifically didn't give a new one to, to partly, in part, ooh, yeah, okay, I can make a warrior emblem. Make a warrior emblem. But, what does that do for me? Well, for one thing, one thing I can give a, make one with, that gives extra max HP, which would probably be pretty good on Alfin. But, it seems that I can't make one with damage up. I guess I don't know that I have any materials that give me damage up. Yes. So sell our quantity items. Oh, we can, we can get money from fishing, too. That's nice. But yeah, so that definitely is nice. <laughs> that is nice. Hmm. Let me see. I know I can go through and see the materials we have. I don't think it's under materials. I think it's under, yeah, accessory materials. So, okay, so... We want something that gives damage, or gives attack up, because the characters that we've been having the is the most issues with are the ones that deal attack damage. Can I, I can't search for attacks, can I? Or I can't search for skills, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, earth damage. We might be here a while. Boost gauge charge rate. That's actually pretty nice. Water, elemental attack. Elemental. Yeah, I guess just playing attack up is probably smack down. The down enemies with arts. That's nice, actually. That could be useful. Down damage. Hmm. That could also be nice. I don't know that I can put that on a warrior emblem, though. Because I don't think, regardless of what any of these are, I don't think that... I don't think they're going to outperform the warrior emblem. I don't think any of them are going to outperform the warrior emblem. So if I want to get anything better... Oh. Alright. That doesn't outperform the warrior emblem, but it does perform the warrior emblem. It's precisely the same thing. Actually, actually, hold on. Maybe the Brimor, Brimor might be used for the warrior emblem. Because, yeah, I know that the material influences what the accessory gives. So what do we... Where is it? Warrior emblem... Yeah, okay, warrior emblems are always made with Brimor. They're always made with Brimor. So that is what gives them the attack up. And improving the level will give us the other skills that the Brimor gives. But it won't give us the skills of the materials we use to upgrade them, I don't think. It'd be nice if fire... If fire damage resistance applied to Alphen's arts, I don't know that that's true. But I also don't know that it's not true. Or at least I should say to Alphen's art self damage. But yeah, we've gotten pretty close before. We've gotten pretty close before on previous runs, but we always just sort of get down to 1 HP as the issue. 
I get down to 1 HP, and at that point, I am unable to successfully avoid enemy damage. Defense could also be nice. And I guess I'm not exactly hurting for materials, considering how infrequently how infrequently I make accessories. The fact that I basically don't use ex make accessories at all. <laughs> hmm. I don't think speed probably means anything to us. Operate, cure point, resistance, pierce. Yeah, most of these aren't much of anything to us. Yeah, and I don't think that I can... I don't think I can in increase the effect of, like, the main skill by adding just more... Leveling it up. Yeah, leveling it up just gives me the other effect. Which is not bad. It's not bad, but... Because, yeah, I can't... I'm pretty confident that this won't do anything. Or it won't do anything more. But we'll try it anyway. Yeah, so it's off the list, so I can't, like, enhance it further. Sort of, like, ascend it or anything like that. So yes, I have not. Hey, that looks pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, it's not that much better than the other warrior emblem that we have, and is in fact probably doesn't actually. What benefit does it give this new one? Defense. Yeah, it gives defense, which doesn't really help with Dohalin because the only issue we've had with Dohalin is that we've just uh, not been killing things fast enough. Yeah, I think I think Elfin is the only one who we've had the issue of them dying. Now, hold on, I've just fast traveled to the same area that I was in. Because I pressed the wrong pressed the button on the wrong icon. This is not the place to be. Training grounds, there we are. But yeah, so we can make accessories. We can make various accessories. Sleep with a roof over our heads. We can make various accessories, but none of them are super impressive at this point. Maybe we could get some better equipment or better better secondary abilities on accessories in the future. But I don't really feel like grinding out accessory materials to find just, you know, one that gives me maybe a little bit of extra damage on top of which I don't I don't know that any of them do. I've seen elemental attack up, but I haven't seen any attack attack up on any of the accessory materials that we went through. And granted, I didn't go through all of them, but... That's it. But yeah, I think at this point... I'm not sure if that's my roommate sneezing or my dog barking. Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe the sneezing caused the dog to bark. But yeah, anyway, I should also, I probably should have checked, I meant to check, but I didn't. I meant to check, but I didn't, back, uh, ah, also, I just realized, yeah, we don't have, we don't have the, the boost gauge up. Enemies are not super accurate, it would seem. Yeah, I didn't even need to dodge that. That just wasn't go aiming for me. Mm, I suppose, you know, the enemies' AI and their attack patterns are designed for the idea of you being, them being in a group and you being in a group. You know, they're not necessarily supposed to be fighting you one on one and vice versa. It's not as though the AI just simply can't handle that. Because it clearly can, but doesn't uh, doesn't do too well with it when you're trying to get very specific positioning, which is a you know not a super common use case I don't think, but it is what it is. 
So yeah, Soaring Blast is sort of an air to ground attack. Air to ground attack. And remember, do not. Just because you can doesn't mean that you should use your boost attack. Because you need to save that for the next uh, wave of enemies. Or the next enemy, I should say. Hmm. So yeah. I suppose, yeah, the, earth, the hitbox on these enemies is also probably not huge. Or the hitbox on their attack is probably also not huge. To, to compensate for the fact that, you know, in a more standard battle, there would be a lot more enemies and a lot more to keep, keep track of. So it would be kind of obnoxious if the, uh, if the attacks had a particularly large hitbox. I'm sort of treating it a lot like the... The enemy's whole body is going to be a hitbox. But that doesn't seem to be a reasonable assumption given circumstances. So, if we can, if we can get a good dodge, then we will. But we're not always gonna get that get that opportunity. See, that could have been a better one. Probably I should have dodged in the direction of the attack if I really wanted it, but... And I certainly did, but... Alright, three rotating pile drivers, and then a tornado drive. There we go, there we go. Pretty good, pretty good. A little bit early on the tornado drive there, unfortunately, but... We should be able to build up uh, another break pretty quick here. And of course, I could also... <coughs> Could also attempt to get some more skills, perhaps. Yeah, could also get some more skills. That could be beneficial. And, you know, I don't use it very much. But ne Negative Gate does do some pretty decent damage and a lot of breaking. Does a lot of break, uh, unfortunate. Maybe I could have cancelled with that. Cancelled out of the animation with that and possibly resolve the situation a little bit faster. Hmm. Yeah, not even... Not even a new fastest time. Hmm. So let's see if those rider claws are weak to anything. Enemy... Yeah, enemy info. No search function, I don't think. So I just gotta look through it normally. Rider Claw, okay. So Rider Claws have, I guess the the hat is presumably magic resistance. I guess I haven't been keeping that much, keeping track of the different icons, huh? But yeah, so they don't have any elemental weaknesses, it seems like at least. So there's no reason to have any particular element or not have any particular element. Let's see. Negative gate. I remember I wasn't super impressed with stalagmite when I used it. Lionheart. Is that arts gauge recovery speed? Hmm. That's probably not anything I really care about. Wind. Earth. Yeah, none of these are super impressive. Tornado drive, soaring blast. Eagle Rage. That could be something. It could probably be... Honestly, it's probably better than Tornado Drive. Well, I don't know. I'm saying that because I've historically been underwhelmed with Tornado Drive. Elemental Attack, Resistance, Penetration. Anything else? Regenerate. Anything else I can get to normal attack limit. That could almost be good. Probably. But yeah, I don't have enough to purchase anything super good, I don't think. But yeah, and to a certain extent it may just be that I need to come back here later. But yeah. You know, I could just keep grinding away at this until I complete it, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, six... six minutes. Ooh. 
Yeah, over over double the time. This feels doable. That doesn't really. Hmm. We'll give Phil Helene's scenario. Well. Alright, so once we get our boost gauge back up, then we'll give Dohalim's Dohalim's uh training another attempt. Hmm, okay, so hold on. We did get some I saw the boost gauge go up pretty quickly there. I saw the boost gauge go up pretty quickly there. So what's that? Hmm. It seems it seems as though the negative gate at least was increasing it faster. Does it increase faster just when I hit things? Or is it that negative gate? There's only that wouldn't specifically boost boost gauge. Yeah, boost gauge generation, right? I mean it might, I suppose. Yeah. No, it doesn't say anything doesn't say anything like that. Which doesn't necessarily make it not true. Sometimes a retreat is the best strategy. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, probably a lot of this just comes comes down to the fact that I'm just not all that experienced with fighting as Dohleen. Or at least with fighting Let's optimally as Dohleen. Alright. So yeah, Negative Gate does pretty good damage. And uh, helps contribute to breaks pretty pretty quickly. Ah, I forgot to... I forgot that I didn't put... Uh, yeah, I didn't put the new art that I'm trying out over Soaring Blast. I put it over uh, the other one. Ooh. That's pretty nice, actually. Hmm. So, negative eight. Alright, those seem to be... Hmm. Oh, hold on. I think that was... I think what made the boost gauge build up so much is the... Uh, is that I broke the enemy. That makes sense. That makes more sense anyway. Alright, alright. Because yeah, that... Yeah, makes a lot of sense to me from just sort of a gameplay or a game design uh, perspective. You want to reward players for, you know, playing well. Oops. Oh. Alright, so. We're in a bad spot here. But, at least we can break this enemy to get our boost gauge back faster, maybe. You're fine, you're fine. We weren't using that incantation for anything anyway. Hmm. So this probably... I want to see if this does anything. Probably not, but, you know. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. No obvious benefit anyway. Hmm. It's interesting how he says that even when the arts are definitely not being interrupted. His negative gate still got used there. But yeah, so this probably could have been a successful attempt, I think. Probably could have been a successful attempt, but I I fumbled the Yeah, I fumbled the bind there. And I fumbled it again there. So you know what? We're just gonna We're just gonna wrap this up. Oh. Alright. It seems that the situation wrapped itself up. So yeah. So Dohleen, I think maybe I'm not quite ready for. So Kisara also needs, it's pretty it's within striking distance, definitely within striking distance of a success here. Let's see, Law, yeah, I haven't not even tried it as Law, or at least not tried successfully as Law. I think, actually, I think I, I was saying earlier that Alfin was the only character who I thought was losing due to running out of HP, but I think I've also lost because of that on Law, too, on his novice training grounds. So we'll try this again. It'll be a 
freeze. Ooh. Nice if I had uh, my boost already on on law, but not strictly necessary, I suppose. Yes, yeah, small advance. Gotta remember, I don't want to be in front of these because that's where they're resistant. Hmm. I never remember. I can never remember what. Uh, how to determine whether or not I have a steel active, what the icon for the buff it gives is. Yeah, doing pretty good so far. Hmm. Alright, that was not so good. That was quite bad, in fact. Whoops. That was pretty bad, also. Whoops. Alright, don't do that. Instead, do this. Yeah, I don't know if the actual physical proximity of the other enemies has any relevance. But, the other enemies did uh, take damage and all died from that attack. So that's going to save us a lot of time. Okay, so that's those two arrows. Or, okay, no, they're not. I said two arrows, I meant to say four. But uh, anyway, it is only two arrows. It, only, it is only two arrows, but the, the arrows are next to the, the icons for attack and elemental attack. Because yes, this uh, oh, heal boosts both of those. Yeah, I wonder if it's just breaking enemies that gives you increased uh, boost gauge, or if it's attacking broken enemies. Steel. Using steel judiciously, I think, is probably going to be a pretty good, uh, pretty important to getting good results here if I hope to get them, which I definitely do. I don't expect to get them, but I do hope to. <laughs> yeah. See, so yeah, I think probably a not insignificant portion. Oh dear. A not insignificant portion of the problem that I'm having with Dohalim is just that I can't consistently get the damage buff out of him. You know, the rod extension. Yeah, I can't get that to activate consistently. I can't get that to activate consistently, and so, as a, res as a result... Hmm. Yeah, I can't get rod extension to activate consistently, and so, as a result, I can't... Uh, I can't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Get the damage buff out of it. Alright. I would, yeah, I would have liked to... Probably would have been best to position myself a little bit better so I could hit both of them. But again, it's not strictly necessary, it's just ideal. Alright, alright. Yeah, probably... Hmm. I also need to play around Law's uh, Awakening mechanic more, because I don't. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I need to play around his, his other damage buff mechanic, or rather, I guess... I was referring to Steel just like as a damage buff mechanic there when I said damage buff mechanic, but that's not precisely what it is. At least not in the same way that his passive is. Alright, so, they're next to each other, so I can break both of them and not have to worry about it. Very good, very good. Alright, so don't let yourself uh, be hurt too much, ideally. Yeah, I need to, yeah, get, get Awakening, keep Awakening, because that'll increase my damage also. And getting and keeping Awakening involves not getting hit. Like that. <laughs> Unfortunate. But, we're pretty close to finishing off this enemy. I don't know at all what our time is, because it doesn't display it anywhere. But, we're not doing too bad so far. Alright, alright. 
we're awakened again. And if nothing else, that's a successful attempt. I don't know if it's going to be a super successful attempt. Sturdy Megabone, Dragon Blood, Topaz Vest, and Speed Special Prize. Okay, there we go. Yes, Unbreakable Fist. Yes, proof of clearing novice training. Law's training will never end. Not until he's claimed his place at the very top. Alright. So I think at least I want to clear novice on everyone. And I guess there's only one other person to clear novice on. That being Alpha. So, let's see. Yeah, we're not too far into the stream already. But I think we'll do that and then we'll get back to the story. Mm, and I forgot to put the warrior emblem on Elfin. And yeah, I can't change... Oh! I can change that. Interesting. Yeah, I'd assume that that would not be allowed, but oh well. So I guess that means that I could theoretically change my equipment to match the... Uh, to match the uh, current situation, basically. Gotta remember, I pressed Rising Falcon because I thought it would be an option that, you know, kept me in the air. But, uh, not quite. Not quite. Rising Falcon does not, in fact, allow you to rise. Yeah. Actually, come to think of it, Mirage doesn't either. Do I have... Truly, I have Unart on Alfin that allows me to stay in the air, yeah? Hmm. Luna Rondo, maybe? Not bad, not bad. And, uh, again, I don't have any, you know, I don't have any mechanics on Alpha that specifically don't want me to get hit. But, I shouldn't get hit anyway, because, you know, I need to have my HP. And so as a result, I should probably pay attention to what the boars are up to, huh? Or the one boar is up to anyway. Yeah. Not necessarily any particular reason to stay in the air as Alphen, I don't think. I don't know. Combo. I don't know if, if the. I know the combo meter is good, broadly speaking. I don't know what benefits it grants me, though. Yeah, I remember it's good for something. It might just be good for experience, which we're not getting here anyway. Alright, so that's actually really good. So, this is something. I don't know how much of anything it is, but it's not nothing. Oh, there we go. That's the end of it. Okay. I think that, then is a successful attempt. Yes, first victory. And speed and decision making. There we go. All right. So, if we could just do that on Law. <laughs> and Dohalim, I suppose. That would be pretty good. But yes, undefeated swordsman. Proof of clearing novice training. Alfin continues to sharpen his blade and skills alike in search of greater and greater heights. And that's all without even an upgraded weapon on him. But yes. So, definitely... Definitely a lot of room for improvement. That was a really good time. Yeah, definitely a lot of room for improvement on Dohalim in particular. Yes, yeah, we finished... Actually, yeah, Dohalim is the only... Er, no. Yeah, Kisara is close. Isara's close. Dohalim is not so close. <laughs> Dohalim is not so close. But, you know. And so yeah, I can't attempt that for another 30 minutes. not going to try again, I don't think. Not for any particular reason to. That's it. So yeah, so that would... 
I'm sure we could clear it if we wanted to. I don't necessarily care to, though. But yes, so now we've at least cleared... It occurs to me that I could probably have also cooked something to give myself some sort of damage bonus, perhaps. But we're not going to worry about that. Let's see, where do we need to go? Uh, well, I guess nah, nowhere in Menencia, basically. Yeah, Mahogsar. Didn't morph. Have we been there before? I guess we must have. This... Can't fast travel there. This is the camp that we were at last time. So yeah, I guess. Oh right, this is the area. Like we just stepped into Looks it, like basically. We made it here in one piece. Just stepped into it. No particular reason to rest, but I do want to see what damage boost foods I could have possibly made that may have had a benefit to us, or maybe not. The vermilion vegetation certainly gives this realm a distinct if somber ambiance. Hmm. Seems I think we've like heard there's this dialogue fruit and before. That we can eat. I also can't help. Hmm. So. Dark meat. Ah. Easier to attack. Attack up. HP after battle, not anything useful. Hmm. Combat. Combat points. What's combat points again? Is that the mechanic? Or no. That's. That's not what you spend to get new skills, I don't think. I don't think that's what you spend to get new skills. It might be that bonus meter that fills up after battles. Yeah, attack up. This could be good. I guess I don't know for sure that attack that buffs, food buffs, apply while in the arena. The training grounds. But I guess I don't have any reason to believe that they don't apply. Hmm. Eh, if nothing else, we've not made it before, so let's give Law a chance to hey, do some cooking. That actually came out pretty alright, don't you think? We will let him cook, as they say. Ah, Rinwell. Rinwell. Mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's graduated. He's, he's doing better. He's, been catching fish with Kisara, <laughs> he's doing perfect. And he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone, too. Just like they did to him. In this house, we love and we respect like you're okay with that. Yeah. More than okay, really. It feels natural having Hoodle and everyone around. Nice. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh. I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? I mean, you do have huh? the gray hair. You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom. Well, then that seems, that seems pretty, pretty appropriate. I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old you know, I uncle. I wouldn't have thought of uncle as Dohalim, but that, that actually sounds pretty appropriate. And as for law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Well, it could be like a sitcom hmm. dad. This is hard. An incompetent sitcom oh, dad. Law can be the pet dog. A dog? Do I don't think really I don't think Law would like family? being a dog, though. Of course they do. If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now. Well, you okay? Uh, oh, it's perhaps at some someday. Actually. I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. You are now we should really get some rest. Yeah, that was nice. I think that's the first time Rinwell has said I much of anything nice again. about Chion. Or Dohaline for that matter. Yeah. 
Let's see. Is there anything worth... Okay, we can't sell anything, I don't think. Or we could sell a lot of things, but there's nothing I want to sell. Get some new equipment, some new armor. I don't know that I... Yeah, we don't have a whole, whole lot of gold. Can't buy weapons, but of course we can't buy weapons. We've never been able to buy weapons, I don't think. Nothing, nothing new to be crafted. What do I... Hmm. Hmm, I thought there was an upgraded version of Flare Claw that we could get, but I guess maybe that would be later. Aiming water. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, okay, no, we've been, we've been over all this before. We've been over all this before. I don't, I don't need to go through the weapons again. I'll wait for a little while. So yes, now, I guess now that we're getting back into the plot, let's take a moment to sort of try and re recall where precisely we are in the plot, because it's been probably about a month, maybe more than that. <laughs> In fact, definitely more than that, because, yeah, before last week, the last stream in which we made no story progress was the fourth of this month. So our previous stream before that would have been even earlier, would have been even earlier at some point. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's definitely been around a month since the last time we made story progress. So, just to get everyone up to speed, and sort of help remind myself, in part, try and get myself in the moment. So, yes, we arrived at Mahogsar. We arrived at Mahogsar, and I'm very glad that I managed to remember the name of it. <laughs> because I don't do that very consistently, with this area or anywhere else. Yes, we arrived in the region of Mahogsar, and we came across the, uh, the capital capital of Mahogsar, where we found that the resident uh, Danans had already overthrown the Renans before we got there. Generally, this would be pretty nice, but the level of devastation there was pretty well beyond... Yeah, the level of devastation there was pretty well beyond anything that we sort of had experienced before in our previous uprisings. And so when we got around to speaking to the revolution's leader, uh, we found that he is not Simply, you know, not simply interested in freeing the Renans, or freeing the Danans from Renan oppression, rather. He is not just interested in freeing the Danans. He is also interested in uh, killing Renans a lot. <laughs> Specifically, he just wants, wants them dead a lot. And, uh, you know, I can, it's understandable, but he did also threaten our party members. Or maybe not threaten, but he did make some perhaps threatening statements. He didn't directly threaten them, but he suggested that maybe, you know, if we're going to be associating with them, we're not uh, welcome here. Uh, that was definitely the dog. To rest here now. But yes. So anyway, so the leader of the previous leader of Mahogsar. The previous leader of Mahogsar was not uh, captured and defeated during the uh, unfortunate was not captured and defeated during the uprising, but uh, instead managed to escape. And it seems that I've gone the wrong way. Hmm. I guess there must have been another branch in the path or something. I guess maybe. Hmm. So there's Esteluva Forest, is that? Ah, Star, okay. So yes, we do need to go to Esteluva, that's where we need to be. All right. Of course, now that I see that other branch in the path, that I also want to go there. We went on. Oh, and there's an owl here somewhere too. Ah, uh, so much to be done. So much to be done. And I'd go and do it, but since I went through all that trouble, since I went through all that trouble to recap the story, I kind of want to continue it. Hmm. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. Mm -hmm. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. The landscape around here is particularly nice. 
I really like uh, I really like the like the design of Mahogsar the most so far out of all the regions we've been. It looks like this elevator is stuck. <laughs> what are the what are the Renans do to it? We're not, not getting out of here unless we find a way around it. Why don't we look around to see if there's anything useful? A wise idea. Perhaps we'll find another way down. That all right with you, Xion? Sure. I guess I did also sort of gloss over it, but uh, Xion's definitely not been at 100% lately, also. She's been wandering around at night. She's been sort of listless during the day. Got us into a pretty rough situation a little while ago, but I don't feel like recapping that far back. I've got to draw a line somewhere, or else I'd just be describing the entire game every time I started the game. Which, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to, but it would get repetitious pretty fast. Not a... not an efficient usage of our time. Yes, maybe in, in fixing this elevator we'll discover the secrets to fixing the other elevator. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing the downside of Law's uh, increased effect, decreased duration skill there. Actually, I can just do that, can't I? <laughs> I don't need to climb all the way down unless I want to. Hope you're not too uh, attached to your knees there. Well, all right. This the Medilla. I think those are new, and they are also armored. We've seen. Oh dear. Hmm. Oh, actually, you can probably uh, put a stun. Well, okay. So it turns out that that's not a charge. <laughs> As, I've gotten used to fighting just with one character for a little bit, so I kind of forgot how to, uh, I lost the muscle memory I needed to, uh, ooh, man, Pinwell's doing some cool moves there. Yeah, I lost the muscle memory I needed to, uh, effectively, oh dear, I want to heal Alpin, but I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to be troubled too much here. All right, some good damage. Very good. I feel like we've seen that a lot. We've seen that a lot. I guess because I've been playing mostly as Dovaline recently. But... Ah, lost the lost the break meter, unfortunately. But oh well, we're not going to get it back either. All right. Not bad. For an intricately crafted weapon, as usual. It is beautiful in both function and form. You're gonna hate when it gets scratched. <laughs> so yeah, I like how in uh, Kisara and uh, Kisara and Dovalim's dynamic, you can really, you can really tell that they, you know, have known each other for a while. That's an interesting, interesting way of phrasing it. Keep up with a wolf. I guess I never think of wolves as being incredibly fast creatures. They're, I guess they, you know, have to be to a certain extent, being pursuit predators and all. But uh, yeah, I guess wolf, the wolf is not the creature that springs to mind when I think fast animal. Maybe it should be, but it definitely isn't. I guess negative gate would not have been a bad thing to do there, but it wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do. Hmm. You know, I just thought, yeah, uh, what's the word? But yeah, the, I can't remember what the ability is called, but, uh, yeah, Kisara's healing, radial he healing ability. It's a little bit expensive for the healing it does on just one character, but on multiple characters it could be pretty good. A couch that looks completely out of place here. Was it for a lord? Maybe. The couch also isn't doesn't to me seem like the most out of place thing here. 
There's a lot of things here that seem out of place. A collection of literature pertaining to astral arts across multiple fields of research. A collection of old experiment implements. Someone's been keeping mementos. Hmm. So yes, so it seems that all of this would seem to suggest that the not only has there been some activity here, there's been some activity here, presumably, specifically by the uh, local lord. I don't know if her name has been said so far. If it has, I certainly don't remember it. Looks like the generator to an elevator. Turn on the generator? Yes. It's awfully luminescent for something that's not on, but I suppose that's how things are sometimes. The elevator can now stop on the surface, as well as Basement 3 and Basement 4. Hmm. For a second there, this almost looked like it was some sort of carved shape. But, uh, no, it seems to just be... It seems to just be a stalagmite. No, I guess... If it goes floor to ceiling, is it a stalagmite, a stalactite, or is it neither? It might not be either, I think. For the hideout of a runaway lord, this place is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Sit. Do you think <laughs> she had it built with that in mind? No. Personally, I think this used to be part of a Danning castle or fortress of some sort. Mm. How can you tell? For one thing, it doesn't look like a storehouse. For another, it's old, and you can tell it was built to let people hole up inside of it. Hmm. The huh. open top. I'll take your word I guess, for it. in theory, the people thing about uh, brick. can die from falling. You know, I've always thought in you this were world. a smart little cookie, but damn, Renwell, you really know your stuff. Yeah, the open, the open it's top no of the deal. the area books, makes all. it not seem particularly fortress-like to, to me. There wasn't much to it above ground. Are there such things as underground castles? There probably used to be more of it above ground. That is, hmm. until 300 years ago. Fair enough. So the main structure must have been lost during the time of the invasion. Hmm. With I guess only that the would make some sense. Remaining. And then this lord decided to use it for her own purposes. Have I got that right? But what reason could she have for using this place instead of staying back in her own castle? Well, That's her old castle clearly out. wasn't all if that, is, uh, all that secure no given circumstances. Right. It's all the more reason we need to hurry up and find her before it's too late. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned specifically, but sort of the reason why we're here looking for the the Lord is because she, uh, basically, one, we don't trust the, re the uh, rebels to be able to take her out without uh, suffering some, some serious casualties in the process. And, uh, Partially that, and partially just because, uh, you know, we want to make sure that she is neutralized. You know, make sure that she, uh, all of her, I think actually, like, specifically one of the things we want is her, uh, her spirit core. So yeah, it's definitely I should also, uh, I should position myself such that I can use Dopalim's, uh, boost art properly, but... Yes, I should um, focus, since we're fighting more enemies at a time now, if we have, you know, more party members, I should probably focus my, uh, or not focus, I should focus less, focus less, at least on specific targets. Yes, I should focus less on specific targets so that I can instead, you know, keep an eye on the battlefield and tell roughly what is going on. Do some healing. It'd be nice if it told me... Maybe it did, and I wasn't paying attention because that number didn't change. Yeah, I was thinking... I was thinking that it wasn't indicating precisely how much... Cure, how many cure points I was spending. And maybe it wasn't indicating how many I was spending, and just, you know, was indicating... I'll take that. How many I would have left over after spending them. I was looking at... Looking at the wrong thing. Do I need to be at a specific position to interact with this? Okay, there we go. The remnants of machinery with no no clear purpose, long since inactive. Hmm. Yeah, I guess 
I was originally thinking that this place was probably some sort of mine or something. But I guess mines usually don't have this sort of stonework in them, necessarily. Hauling, hauling stone into a mine is sort of the opposite of what you want to do, really. Work or not work. Or what I don't know why I keep thinking I need to open the, the menu that I keep opening to activate uh, other characters, uh, characters that aren't in the party's uh, boost art. I guess probably just, you know, I'm probably not thinking of this in terms of like uh, anything I've actually seen. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just responding instinctively to whatever makes the most sense. Alright. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. Alfin, or no, Finwell, has made some sounds like she was having some trouble, but she seems to be doing alright. Indeed. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Ooh, Kisara's not fine though. Hmm. There we go. Now I noticed that she wasn't using her heal there. I wonder, like, since I was using a heal, she was specifically, or her AI was specifically avoiding using it. That'd be nice. Alright, and... I click Mystic Art. Very good. Ooh, we're not quite done yet, though. And broken. The other one over there is still extant. <laughs> Alright, the more I'm using negative er, negative gate, I was gonna say negative break. The more I'm using negative gate, the more I'm liking it, to be honest. Yeah, I also, for whatever reason before, I thought I didn't have that snap from one enemy to the next. Yeah, snap from one enemy to the next uh, skill on Dohleen. This place is full of weird machinery, old mm. and new. Just what the hell was she doing here? These are By definitely all new. The sort of unsavory research she wouldn't want to see divulged. Even to other enemies. That is a scary That's thought. Scary thought. Oh, also, I should like make sure that everyone's got like good equipment, <laughs> considering that I was just swapping around accessories all willy nilly before. Yes, Protect Ring. A ring that reduces damage taken from physical attacks. It works best in battles where both sides are trading blows up close with weapons or fists. Alright, so, equipment. You're fine. You should have an accessory. So we'll go we'll put the magic emblem on you. You, let's see, I can give you something with aggro up, right? Maybe not. I thought I specifically made an aggro up charm for you. Oh, yes, I did. De defense, aggro, okay. Yes, as for you, you can get the cure point restore core and cure point cost down. I want to make one of those for Xion also. We'll put the other warrior emblem on you. And then, do we have anything else we can benefit from on Xion? Hmm. Eh, movement speed, I guess. Better than nothing. Not that it actually benefits at a, us at all, because she's not in the battles, but... Or at least she doesn't need to worry about moving around in the battles, but... It's not nothing. And if I forget to uh, re-equip Xion with something proper once we're done, it won't be the worst thing in the world. Oops, and I, there we go. I always forget that, uh, yeah, I always forget that Chief, or Rinwell's, uh, boost attack has a, uh, ooh, nice. There you go. I always forget that Rinwell's, uh, boost attack has, like, uh, an AoE on it. I always think that it just attack affects one target, because there's not a whole lot of a visual effect now for it. that's what I call ice. Together, I knew we could do it. 
place goes pretty deep underground. It was it probably does. built that way so it could still be used even if the above ground portion got destroyed. That makes a certain sense. Perhaps that's why it's still here. And why it was made into her hideout. It would certainly stand to reason. Yes, this is definitely an ominous sort of place. Oh. Eh, you know what? We'll switch it. Whoever, we'll switch who we're, we're walking around with. Why not? Yes. Hmm. Okay, so no, it definitely doesn't show a different number for both of these. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on then. Okay, I interpreted heal... Recover 80% HP as recover up to 80% HP. So it's not that. It's recover exactly 80% of everyone's HP. Which is interesting. It definitely feels like... It feels like an odd... An unusual... Secondary... Yeah, the difference between like 100% and 20% doesn't feel that big to me, you know? It feels like it would have made more sense for it to be recover, say, 20% of your HP if you want to just get a little bit back, or recover, you know, 50% of your HP if you wanted to split the difference between healing all and healing none. Hmm. And given that there wasn't an obvious difference in cost between those two, it might not be... I was thinking that maybe healing outside of combat would be more efficient, because I was thinking that it would only... It would scale the cure point cost to the amount of HP that I needed to restore. But that might not be the case. Generator for the elevator. Turn on the generator. Of course. Sit. The elevator can now stop at basement one. It's definitely been a while since we controlled Xion on the field, I think. Yeah, I really, I really like the, uh, oh, the look of this place, too. Yeah, basement one. Hmm. Actually, given that we just now the got the ability to... Down where the railing has fallen apart. What? Hmm. Are you serious? Omedrea. Okay, so I guess that's the name of uh, the Lord here. By all appearances, it would seem she was researching something here. You think so? What kind of research could she have been doing in a place like this? Your that guess is, is as question. good as mine. It would Hardly definitely not be. The likes of us could imagine. Hmm. Definitely if feels like the sort of place this where area is rich in astral energy. a wind, and it's possible someone who could have been doing any number of things. Indeed. Yeah. Renin castles and spirit vessels are often found in such locations. Intriguingly, Danon mm. ruins are also known for their abundant energy. You Renins attacked us. Don't act like you're just some... Sheesh, enough already. This isn't the place to pick a fight over this. How can you be so calm listening to all of this? You suffered at the hands of guys like him too. Listen, don't I mean, don't mean, don't mean, mean anything by it. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe he could have picked his words a little bit better, but... But yeah. I've li I like Xion as a character, but she's definitely the character that I least enjoy playing as. Yeah, I was gonna say... I was gonna say, since... We just now unlocked the ability to go to the basement first floor... I kind of wonder if that's where we're supposed to go, or if we're supposed to be down here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I was gonna say maybe I should put uh, the earth, uh, the earth art back on uh, on Alfin, given that we're fighting wind enemies a lot more now. But I guess it doesn't matter really. Probably doesn't matter too much because the the AI can just use whatever arts it uh, it so feels like. It would be nice if we could also do that, but I understand that there's certain limitations that have to uh, certain limitations that 
you know, the game has to, uh, the game just can't, you know, have infinite inputs, basically. Can only do something. Alright, not bad, not bad. Bad timing on it, unfortunately. I didn't get to do the dual snap over to the enemy and, and hit him uh, real good move, but oh well. Very nice. Ooh, hold on. That... It felt like the, the animation for that Flare Demolisher was different. And not just in that it... Uh, yeah, not just in that it was... Yeah, what are we using for? You're using Rock rock Wall. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, it seemed to be different in more than just the model of the... Hungry. Funny. Shield. I could have sworn that was your stomach making all the racket. Oh, do we? Are we already down here? Ah. Okay, so yeah, we were already at the fourth floor. Right, because yeah, we dropped down here, didn't we? And that takes us back to the... Okay, yeah. So yeah, so we, we went down, then we went back up a little bit, and then we... Yeah, okay. So yes. P1 is the floor that we need to go on to progress the story. Okay. I guess I didn't think of it as the being the fourth basement floor, that first floor that we landed on, because it was the first that we went to. I'm used to, you know, progressing through floors in a building in a linear fashion. So these... Okay, so those would lead on to other... To other... Uh, levels, or other places on other levels. Unfortunately, that didn't hit both of them. Oh, wow. I really feel like those... Maybe it is, and I just uh, missed the timing, but it feels like the... Okay, yes. Yes, I was gonna say. It feels like those rolling attacks should be... Those rolling attacks should be uh, charges, and they are. They are. So it is, it is precisely as I thought it was. Not bad, not bad. Oh dear. Alright. Sara has done some healing, which is nice for her. But uh, none of the rest of us got it, unfortunately. Not too bad, though. I guess I should probably be using my items more. Yeah, what do we... we got a lot of consumables. There's an unusually large amount of lag on the consumables. Hmm. Given that all those apple gels that I used are now kind of at a point where I... People have enough health that I don't want to give them an orange shell. Or peach shell, so maybe I should have been more careful with that. Don't have many... Yeah, don't have many orange gels. Yeah, I probably should have thought that through a little bit more. Oh well. And yeah, should have stocked up too. I was just sort of thinking in terms of like uh, accessories before. Yeah, thinking about uh, how many accessories I can afford to make and use and all that. Hmm. Okay, everyone's suddenly very low on HP. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Do I want to use a treat? That's a lot of HP. We don't get a lot- oh, that's a heavy treat. Do we have- no, we don't have a standard one. Hmm. Alright, so... I think we're maybe gonna need to get some uh, more resources here in a little bit. Hmm. Alright, I really appreciate that, Alvin. Thank you. Alright. Do some punching, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's been such a while since we've had to use items in any meaningful way that I kind of just forgot about it. Yeah, I think it's definitely... It's probably been more than... Yeah, more than those three episodes since we've actually used an item in combat. And granted, the items that we just used for the most part were out of combat, but... Hmm. 
I might want to adjust the uh, strategy to make my allies a little bit more evasive. Maybe just a little bit. Oops. Oh. Ah. Uh. Wonder if... Well, I guess, yeah. I was thinking that... I was wondering why it didn't let me, like, use my uh, combo move there. But I think probably it was because the enemy was uh, evading. That definitely wasn't the case there, so I'm not sure what was hey, up with that. Anyone else think this might be a touch too dangerous? Ridwell's right. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. Yeah. Maybe we're not doing so great. A long one-piece dress knit with special threads. Something that discerning astral arch users can tell can apparently tell when they don it. Some equipment. Let me take a look at it. It almost feels intentional, how Oh. I think basically every time we've gotten a new dress, uh, Alfin has been the one to comment on it. Alright, so, now that we've done all of that, uh, let's leave briefly. Let's Looks leave like briefly make... and let's buy some stuff. Yes, apple gels we could stock up on. We can get a pretty good amount of those. Peach gels, lemon gels. And we... I could definitely get some more armor. I could definitely get some more armor. Hmm. Wait, whoops. Yeah, that was, I think that was, yeah, that would have been a dress for Xion. Yes. So that's a pretty good improvement. I think that's probably better than the armor that we could have bought for Xion. Do you sense one of your friends, yes. Hoodle? And yeah, big, big improvement, big improvement. Hmm. So yeah, not the rest of these. They're mostly not huge improvements. In fact, some of them, they aren't improvements at all because we already have them. But I almost wonder if maybe we've been able to, because the other, the other ones I'm sure I didn't buy. I think I must have, I must have acquired them just sort of in the world. I must have acquired them just in the world somewhere. Hmm. Yes, we can't buy treats, so I should definitely be discerning with them. Let's see, 2,000 HP. That feels a little bit superfluous. We really don't have anyone who has that much HP by and large. I'll buy a couple more orange gels, because when we need them, we really need them. Hmm. See, I guess, for the amount of HP that we have, the peach gel is probably the most efficient. Because if we, if we start using lemon gels a lot, then we're going to be... If we use lemon gels a lot, then we're going to be using... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If we use lemon gels a lot, then we're going to be putting healing more than we need to a lot of the time, which is no good. If we use apple gels, then, you know, we're going to be using multiple apple gels per person, like you just saw, for the most part. And so, yeah, the peach gel, you know, heals three times as much as an apple gel, but it doesn't quite cost three times as much to purchase doesn't quite cost three times as much to purchase. So yeah. Anyway. We didn't actually make any story progress. Or we've made very little. But I do kind of want to, uh, to do some do some resting. That's a weird way to phrase it. I would like to rest. <laughs> now, like I said, I was feeling a little bit tired. And I was feeling less tired at the start of the stream. I was feeling less tired at the start of the stream than I had been earlier, but it's definitely catching up to me a bit more now. So, since we've sort of uh, had to eh, had to retreat and regroup and all that, I think now is a pretty good time to all things for today. There we go. Yes. Stretch. 
been pretty good with my posture today. But I think that may, may have contributed to having a little bit more tension in my back because the way that my chair is constructed, it's a different chair than I used to sit in also. But uh, the way that the chair is constructed, I if I like, you know, want to support my back, but I, I kind of end up leaning backwards. So, uh, yeah, the camera doesn't catch my face quite as well, and the microphone doesn't catch my voice quite as well. So that's not ideal. Not ideal. But yes. So, what is there to be said? Um, yeah, I guess, you know, next week you can look forward to more of the usual, ideally. But yeah, um... Not a whole lot to be said in the grand scheme of things, though, to be honest. But yeah. Honestly, part of that's probably just because I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah. So tonight, I think... Well, tonight, always, as always, I'm going to give the opportunity for anyone who would like to, to make a raid suggestion. That's it. Yeah, I did have someone in mind there, but again, I will I will take a suggestion if one is made. But it looks like yeah, it looks like no one is popping popping in to give a last minute suggestion. So instead, we are going to go whoop, go and drop by a good friend of ours that we haven't seen in a little while, probably more recent than I. No, yeah, yeah, more, I don't know, it hasn't been so, so super long, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna drop by Judo stream, looks like uh, Pick is streaming tonight, don't, oh right, yeah, Judo, Judo is ill, right, 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 so, we'll go and visit uh, Pick on Judo's channel, yes, Picanha Pick, not a, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, doesn't stream on her own, yeah, I was gonna say I was eh. I guess yeah. If you if you are streaming, you are a streamer, even if you don't do so regularly. But uh, but yeah, what is there to say? Something. Anyway, pick hey, streaming Judo's channel. We're gonna go there. Uh. <laughs> anyway, let's see. What else is there to say? I guess that's everything. Schedule: Arc Nights Tuesday. Tales for Rise, Wednesday, Friday, VA11, Hall A, Cyberpunk, Bartender Action, Thursday, also known as Valhalla, with Sheppy Sheps, Thursday, 8.30pm uh, Central Time, for all of these streams, and I think that's basically everything that needs to be said. So, thank you all for being here to, oh, hold on, customary raid message is, as always, we have, uh, we have arrived, there we go. So... <laughs> Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.